Hello, today we'll be connecting an LCD projector to a CPU. You will need two kinds of cords. This is an RGB cable. It's usually blue, but you may see it black if it's an extension. So, but they're both RGB cables. The next cable you will need is the power cable. This one goes directly from the LCD into the wall. Now we will be connecting the cords into the LCD projector. There are two areas in which you can connect the RGB cables to, either computer component video or monitor out. In this case, we're going from the computer into the LCD projector. So you'll need to attach the RGB into the component video out the computer. First you want to do is just connect it, find the space in which it would fit, and then there's two pins, so you want to lightly, tightly and lightly screw in the pins. The other end will be connected into the computer, so we will deal with that later. The next cord we will be using is the power cord that we introduced earlier. This one, simply just find the spot it matches. Here is happens to be the power, so you attach the power and make sure it's in tight so that it connections well. This cord will be the one that goes into the outlet for the power, but do not turn on the projector yet. When you attach the RGB cable that went from the projector, you want to find the back of the CPU. There will already be an attached blue RGB cable. What you need to do this time is uh, detach this one. Again, you unscrew the pins, and make sure the pins are screwed all, off all the way so you don't pull off any of the pins. Then you take the RGB cable that led from the projector and plug it into the back of the CPU. You want to screw in the pins to make a nice tight connection. Again, all the images will pair from the CPU to the projector. Two. Once all the cables have been connected, you want to come turn on the projector, and then you want to come to the computer and turn on the computer. Again, there will be no image presented on the monitor because we have detached the RGB cable that led from the monitor to the CPU. The only image will appear is on the screen. If your LCD projector has an open and closed cabinet, open it up so that this image will appear on the screen. Now here is where the button on the lens is where you would focus or unfocus that image on the screen. Once you have it focused, it's kind of like a camera. You can go to the keystone in the middle and these buttons will make the image on the screen wider, smaller, closer. Just kind of play around with it to what you would like. We're going to use the wide so that the, the image on the screen gets bigger. Tell it to zoom in a little bit more. The bottom arrows make the bottom of the image smaller. And the in the arrows on the top make the top of it bigger. Do it to which you As we like. mentioned before, the image will not appear on the monitor because you took the RGB cable out from the monitor from the CPU. But what you can do now is you can take the monitor RGB cable and you can go into the projector monitor out. What this is creating is a circuit going from the computer to the projector, from the projector out to the monitor. So as you screw this in, you can turn the monitor on and you will soon see the image appear on the monitor as well as on the screen. This splitter has one main compartment with pins sticking out, and then it has two that have a clear blue area where the pins will go in. This one goes into the CPU. So I will unscrew the RGB cable that went from the LCD, and I'll plug in the splitter into the CPU. And I'll screw those in as if I was screwing in the RGB cables from before. Now this cable will go into one of the splitter areas and the monitor RGB will be also attached to the other. Now this splitter can be asked by your local help desk or purchased at a radio shack, I'm sure. Turn on the monitor and here it will appear the image as well